When you think about the incentives that the current contract set up between the home seller and the agent representing them, they're not well aligned. But can you ever prove that? Interestingly, if you look at the sales data on real estate agents' own homes, not their clients' homes, but when they sell their own homes, they get more money than if they sold the same home for a client. Now, why would that be? Well, what we find in the data is that agents hold out for a better price and leave their own homes on the market longer, an average of 10 days longer. But when it comes to your house, well, the agent has an incentive to sell right away. Why? Because of that $10,000 into his or her pocket, only $150. I only get $150. Because if you take that $10,000 extra dollars that goes to him, 6% goes to commission, but that gets whacked up. Half goes to the buyer's real estate agent, so I've got half of that 6%. But then I have to kick back half of that to my agency. So I only get one and a half percent. So really, in order for me to help him get $10,000 extra dollars, I personally only get $150. But I have to work for an extra week. I have to buy all the marketing. I could be off with another client trying to get a whole commission on another house. So I have a strong incentive to say to him, this is a great offer. It's the best offer you're ever going to get. I really think you should take it. So no matter what the real estate agent says, I would rather wait a week and pick up the extra $10,000. The agent wouldn't. It's not that real estate agents are bad, it's just that they're human beings and human beings respond to incentives. If there's only one element that I say is there in almost everything we do, it's the idea that incentives matter, and if you can figure out what people's incentives are, you have a good chance of guessing how they're gonna behave.